In the 1970s, the cover of an Arizona magazine featured a compelling image capturing the essence of Native American culture. The women in the photograph, with their distinctive attire and perhaps symbolic elements, contribute to the broader narrative of Native American identity and representation. Woolworths was a popular retail chain that operated in the United States and other countries. The company had various departments, including a record department that sold vinyl records. The Devils is a controversial and provocative historical drama film directed by Ken Russell, released in 1971. It starred Vanessa Redgrave in a leading role. The Devils was met with controversy due to its explicit and controversial content, including scenes of nudity and depictions of religious and political authority. The film faced censorship and was banned in several countries. The Xerox Corporation introduced the first commercial plain paper copier, known as the Xerox 914, in 1959. The 607th Tank Destroyer Battalion was a unit of the United States Army that served during World War II. Tank Destroyer Battalions were specialized units equipped with anti-tank weapons to counter enemy armored units. A baker carrying a tray of bread in Italy in 1957. Many neighborhoods in Italy had local bakeries where residents could purchase freshly baked bread. These establishments were integral to daily life and community cohesion. Lauren Bacall was an American actress and singer known for her distinctive voice, sultry looks, and performances in classic films. Before entering acting, Bacall worked as a fashion model. Her striking looks and poise attracted attention leading to opportunities in the entertainment industry. Jessie Tarbox Beals was an American photographer known for her pioneering work in the field of photojournalism and documentary photography during the early 20th century. Photographers during this era often had to carry cumbersome equipment, including large format cameras and glass plate negatives. Local mail services were integral to communities, providing a lifeline of communication. Postmen were familiar figures in neighborhoods, often building relationships with residents over time. During the American Civil War, the US Navy played a crucial role in controlling waterways and supporting Union military operations. The USS Hunchback was a gunboat commissioned by the US Navy during the Civil War. Gunboats were vessels armed with cannons and other artillery designed for riverine and coastal operations. Vicki Dugan became particularly well known for her daring fashion choices, especially her penchant for wearing backless dresses that garnered attention and contributed to her glamorous image. A momentous meeting between Marilyn Monroe and Queen Elizabeth in London during October 1956. Both women, aged 30 at the time, attended a movie premiere. Kim Novak rose to fame in the 1950s and became one of Hollywood's leading actresses. She starred in notable films such as Picnic, 1955, Vertigo, 1958, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and Bell, Book and Candle, 1958. In the 1960s, IBM, International Business Machines Corporation, played a significant role in the computer industry, producing mainframe computers that were widely used by businesses, government agencies, and research institutions. Actors Charlton Heston and Stephen Boyd riding a scooter during the filming of Ben-Hur in 1959. 
The photograph provides a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the making of this epic film. James Stewart was an American actor known for his distinctive voice, sincere demeanor, and a wide range of performances in film and television. During World War II, Stewart served in the United States Army Air Forces and became a decorated war hero, rising to the rank of Brigadier General. Kensington, a district in West London, is known for its affluent neighborhoods and cultural institutions. In this photo, we can see a lamplighter, a worker responsible for lighting gas lamps along the streets. Laurie Winston is an American model who was Playboy magazine's Playmate of the Month for its June 1964 issue. Joseph Gallo, commonly known as Crazy Joe or Joe the Blonde, was a notorious figure in the New York City underworld associated with the Profaci Colombo crime family. Gallo was associated with the Profaci crime family, which later became known as the Colombo crime family. This family is one of the five families that dominate organized crime in New York City. The extraordinary bus of Ray Conklin, the president of the New York Motor Bus Company in 1915. The image showcases a unique and innovative design, reflecting the early days of public transportation. The Ronettes, consisting of lead singer Veronica Ronnie Bennett, her sister Estelle Bennett, and their cousin Nedra Talley, were a popular girl group in the 1960s. They achieved significant success with hits produced by Phil Spector, including Be My Baby, Baby I Love You, and Walking in the Rain. Ursula Andress achieved worldwide recognition for her role as Honey Rider in the 1962 James Bond film, Dr. No. Her emergence from the sea in a white bikini became an iconic moment in film history. The film, Some Like It Hot, is a classic screwball comedy that tells the story of two musicians, Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon, who witness a mob hit and go into hiding by disguising themselves as women in an all-female band. The removal of the spiked crown from the Statue of Liberty in 1938 was part of a renovation project undertaken in preparation for the 1939 New York World's Fair. Steeplejacks, who are skilled workers trained to climb tall structures and perform maintenance and repairs, were likely involved in the delicate task of removing the spiked crown. The meeting between Winston Churchill and Charlie Chaplin occurred on the set of City Lights in Hollywood on September 24, 1929. At the time, Churchill was not yet the Prime Minister, but he was a well-known figure in British politics. Grace Kelly gained prominence as an actress in the 1950s, starring in a series of successful films. She received critical acclaim for her performances in movies such as High Noon, 1952, Dial M for Murder, 1954, and Rear Window, 1954. The image of Padang women playing cards in a London hotel in 1935 indicates that they were likely part of a traveling group or exhibition. During certain periods, Ethnic groups and cultures from around the world were showcased in international exhibitions and events. Thousands of American nurses served in the U.S. Army Nurse Corps during World War II. They were deployed to various theaters of war, including Europe, the Pacific, North Africa, and other locations. people picnicking on the beach at Coney Island around 1905. Coney Island, located in Brooklyn, New York, has been a popular recreational destination for well over a century. In the early 1900s, 
It was known for its amusement parks, boardwalk, beaches, and a variety of entertainment options. Yeoman Warders are ceremonial guardians of the Tower of London, and their official title is Yeoman Warders of Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress, the Tower of London. They are often colloquially referred to as Beef Eaters. That was all for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed. Until next time, safe travels.